Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro and yes, the wallpaper looks amazing on this AMOLED display. We are talking about Corvus 16 and today's video is a step-by-step -step guide of how to install it on the K20 Pro. Now remember a couple of days back I put out a poll for these two devices and the Corvus version is the same but a lot of different things. So we're going to cover installation first, meanwhile we will do gaming reviews on the live streams and we will come up with the full reviews soon. So in today's video we're going to see how to install this on the K20 Pro step by step. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and support to get to a thousand members. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so first things first, usual set of disclaimers. We are talking about Rafael or Rafael in, that's the code name for this device K20 Pro, Mi 90 Pro. This ROM is based on MIUI vendor. So yes, you can use custom kernels which are based on MIUI vendors and that will come in the full review. But today we're going to install the ROM, the G apps version. So the things that you will need, of course, you need a K20 Pro with the unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. My recovery of choice is Orange Fox recovery latest stable version. Make sure all the data on your phone is backed up because I prefer in wiping everything and doing a clean flash. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. You have been warned. So once you have taken care of all of that, we will boot into TWRP. We will wipe everything and then we will connect the phone to the computer to copy the files and then we will flash it. Of course, you will also need the vendor firmware. So let's go to TWRP here. So go to restart and go to recovery. All right, once you're in recovery, the first thing that we will do is we'll do format data. So go to this bin over here, select format data. And remember, this is going to wipe everything on your internal storage. There is no going back. Type in yes over here, select the tick mark, let it do its thing. Okay, now go to the three lines over here, reboot and select recovery. The phone will boot back into recovery when we will wipe everything including internal storage. Now, some of you might argue that this is not necessary every time, but I do it in a way wherein you would not have any issues. That means wiping everything and starting afresh. That is how you give any ROM the best chance. So go to the bin again, Delvic cache system vendor data internal storage. We will wipe everything. Okay, now the phone is clean, absolutely clean. The next thing to do is connect the phone to the computer, copy the ROM file and the vendor firmware. If you want to stay decrypted, you can flash DFE. If you want to stay rooted, you can flash Magisk. That's your call. We're just gonna flash two files. All right, so now the files have been copied to the phone and everything is clean. So the first thing that will flash is the vendor firmware, add to queue and flash Corvus version 16. Now remember, we are flashing the G apps version. So if you want to flash the vanilla version, you would have to first flash the vendor, flash the ROM and then flash G apps. And after that, all your usual stuff, if you want to stay decrypted, flash DFE. If you want Majisk access, like root access, flash Majisk. But I would suggest that don't go beyond DFE. You can do the first boot and then flash Majisk. Now these two files are slightly big, so they will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so everything has been flashed. We will wipe cache and then we will do reboot system. Now, of course, the first boot will take anywhere between 30 seconds to one minute, at the most two minutes, because this is a Snapdragon 855 powered device. And uh, yeah, it should not take more than two minutes for a custom ROM to boot and more than five to seven minutes for MIUI to boot. So that's a gorgeous boot animation of Corvus OS over there. Let's wait for the boot to complete. We will skip the setup and we will have a look at the ROM. This ROM comes with perf kernel. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up. All right, just like that, we have booted to the home screen of Corvus OS or Corvus 16. Very, very few applications. So no bloatware here and a very, very basic camera application. Now, apart from this, if we have anything special, not really. So if you go to settings over here, you have the Raven's Liar and all the other things. And if you go to the Android version, Android 11, Corvus 16 Alpha, 
this bug is still there it shows 5 gb ram instead of 6 gb the security patch is 5th of may and the kernel in question is the perf kernel now we will flash a different kernel because this is a miui vendor rom we will be doing a gaming live stream on this and the poco phone f1 as well i'll be using each of the devices for a day or two and i will be doing a full review with a lot of changes and a lot of tests let me know what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye